you doing? Oh, oh my god, it's a long way down. So I had this idea. It's, in fact, I had this idea. It's not even my idea. Um, I saw this post on Instagram about chicken wire ghosts. And then I saw, I think her name is Rachel Maxey making a video on this where she made her own chicken wire ghost. And it was like, um, I think like a Victorian lady in a huge ball gown. And I wanted to have a go. I've got an idea. I've got this idea to make this man in a top hat who's like leaned against a wall. I'm making my future husband out of chicken wire. That's what this is. Without further ado, what you'll need is, if you want to follow along, this isn't a tutorial. I don't know why I put it like that. This isn't a tutorial at all. Um, you'll need some chicken wire mesh, some wire cutters, and some gloves, because this is going to be sharp. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to go along with it. I don't know why I did that like that. I don't even know if I bought enough. I bought 10 meters, I hope that's enough. There's probably a way easier way of getting this off and I'm just making it. It's like getting this thing, it's like a maze. Okay. I feel like I should have got the one that's like the smaller mesh holes. I feel like that's gonna be, cause these are quite big. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's kind of easy to mold though. I don't even know what to go ahead and do first. I'm completely winging this. I have no idea what I'm doing. When I watched Rachel's video, she was um she had like a a mannequin of a torso of a woman to work off, which is probably a lot easier. I don't have that. So instead, I'm just going to find out measurements of like an average size man and then go off that. Which I think might work. Okay, so I've got like average measurements. I'm gonna go for him to be about six foot tall, like a 40 inch chest, 32 inch, 35 inch waist. And then I've got like certain different heights off the floor for the different parts of the body, like the elbow and like the shoulder and everything. But I think we're just gonna wing it. Let's wing it. Hello, it's Bridie from the future here. I didn't really do much for this first night, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of just getting used to the wire and I made my initial torso shape. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was quite hard to do without a mannequin, but uh, I got there in the end. For the next evening, I generally just worked on, oh, thank you, Abby. <laughs> for the next evening, I generally just worked on uh, getting the arms done, the legs done, all that sort of stuff before moving on to the details of the form. Several days later. There's my man. I'm not gonna lie, I think Granad stepped on him. So the body, the legs, the arms and everything is pretty much done other than the head. So I'm going to do the head now. Get a picture reference. I feel like with the head, this is the top of like the shoulders. This is where the head is going to sit. So anyway, I feel like the best way to do it, to maybe attach the head, is to put like, kind of like a wall of wire, like at, leading up from the back of the neck here, and go all the way up to how high I want the head, and then shape the rest from there. And in true bridey fashion, I forgot to show you the finished head. However, I feel like it's kind of, this wasn't planned at all, I promise that for another sort of creating video i'm going to be because i plan on doing more of these types of artistic videos in the future i will try to film a lot more however i feel like for this specific video it's quite nice to be able to see the whole finished form with all of the components all together so what i'm working on right now that you can see in this clip is the hands so I basically just went off my own hand. I did them a little bit too small and then I had to make them a little bit bigger for my guy. But I made the left hand first and then the right hand second. There's our two finished hands. Yep, yep. 
Let's do this. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. This cup is nearly empty. <laughs> I just picked it up. Damn, I look rough. It is about one in the morning and it is the 31st of December and I am not leaving this year without this video being done. I'm not gonna lie, I finished my wire man a little while ago and I just haven't gotten around to wrapping up the video and editing it and everything. So I'm getting that done today because I'd like to get this video up today at a more reasonable hour, but today. After I finished my wire man, there was nothing else left to do except from take pictures of him. So I had to wait until it wasn't a very windy day because he's quite flimsy. I noticed that probably the reason that a lot of people would choose to do more of like a sort of vintage, like female character in a big ball gown is because it's a lot more sturdy on the bottom. Whereas with my guy, because he was standing up and his legs were crossing over and everything and there was no like wider structure on the bottom. Bottom? Why did I say that so weirdly? Bottom? Bottom. Um, because there was no wider structure on the bottom, there basically was nothing for him to really, you know, nothing for him to just, just distribute his weight on. So I had to wait until it wasn't a very windy day and also take some extra wire with me because uh, my idea was to lean him against a tree and then simply tie sort of the back, sort of where his neck connects to um, the top of his back to the tree and then that would hold him up and then maybe just sort of pin one of his feet into the ground and that's what I ended up doing. So here you're gonna see a nice little montage of my wire man all set up. can't believe it's December 31st. Anyway, so there we go. He's done. This video isn't very long. I thought it was going to be longer, but I've realized that actually it's quite hard to do a video where you're making something over a certain amount of time because like filming and everything, getting the right angles and making sure you're filming everything you're doing. I didn't do that for this project. I'm going to make sure to do it for my next one. But also I don't want to make a long video if there's not a point of making a long video. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, I'm glad. That didn't make any sense. I suppose like it if you want to. Why am I so like, I never want to say anything like that, but like I suppose if you want to, go ahead. Um, if you don't, that's fine. I'm actually in the process of making, of finishing off another video as well right now, which is a, a painting for my mum. And I've filmed the whole process of that and I'm about to wrap that up as well. So that will be out, I'm hoping in the next few weeks. I also kind of wanted to do a video on New Year's resolutions. More so for myself to look back on in a year's time and see if I stuck to them. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'll try and wrap up a video very quickly. Um, yeah, but thank you for watching. I hope you're having a lovely New Year's Eve, wherever you are, or if it's New Year's Day for you, or if it's not even New Year's Eve for you yet. I hope you're having a good day anyway, and I will see you next time. Bye.